Hey, I'm Billy Harris. You're hanging with Harris, my very good friend Natasha Case at Cool House in LA. How are you, Natasha? Doing very well. Excited to be hanging with Harris. You are hanging with Harris. Yeah. All right, for starters, tell us about Cool House. What is Cool House? Uh, well, Cool House is a triple entendre. It's uh, named after the architect Rem Cool House, one of my personal favorites, and I used to work in architecture. Also, a nod to the Bauhaus architecture movement, which is minimal and modern. And uh, and also, you know, it's a cold house with ice cream, and they kind of look like little cool houses, the sandwiches. They do so. look like a little cool yeah. house, and we'll get to that in a moment. Now, Rem Cool House, you did the public library in Seattle. Exactly Been there, right. amazing building. Wow. Very good. My grandfather went to the Bauhaus in the 1930s. Whoa. See, so we have weird. a cosmic yeah. connection, which is great. <laughs> and I'm a, you live in LA, big fan of mid-century architecture. Of course, yes. And uh, it, it, it's a great name, especially for the city of Los Angeles. Yeah. And we'll get to the sandwiches and all. So you have this cool name. We know where you come from now. Yeah. How do you go, oh, I like mid-century furniture and design, and I like Rem Cool House and Bauhaus, yeah. and now I'm gonna just start an ice cream business. The actual umbrella company of Cool House is called Farkitecture, Food Plus Architecture. I developed it in undergrad and grad school, and the idea is about using food as the lens to explore architecture and design, because when food is involved, people start paying attention. They do. Excited. And we thought, you know, ice cream is such a comforting, welcoming product. We could talk about product. anything while we're eating ice cream. Exactly it's right. Great. It could be law, it could be, you know, economics. So we're in your shop, we're literally yeah. in the cool house, but this actually started on a truck, a little right. tiny truck, yes. right? So yeah. tell us about that. We were able to, basically, we found an old postal van on Craigslist. On Craigslist, yeah. I read that, yeah, right? Yeah, it's like $2,000, so, you know. And now you have multiple trucks in LA? Multiple trucks. Well, we figured out, you know, the economies of scale, you can sure. be in more than one place at once. You guys are going to South Beach Food and Wine, you already have exactly. trucks in Miami, right. and you have trucks in New York. Yeah, two trucks in New York and a cart in Central Park and on the Upper West Side. We have uh, about 50 amazing flavors, anything from your classic Tahitian vanilla bean to the crazier flavors like fried chicken and waffle and brown butter candied bacon. You know what, Natasha, I'm sick of talking about okay. it. Yeah, forget it. We have a tin of <laughs> tasting spoons here. This is the red velvet cake. Yes, it's like a mass Mascarpone cream cheese base with a um, little toasted uh, red velvet cake. Where should I go Let's to see. next? I would say maybe the salted caramel. It's right really here? Smoky, yeah. Again, one of our big sellers. Salted caramel. Yeah. Absolutely delicious. You really get a hit of that salt. Once yeah. again, just so creamy and yummy <laughs> and it does. I'm gonna yeah. do two spoons into the salted oh, caramel. Oh. A lot of sweet meat savory and you know, experimenting with- It is a sweet yeah, savory, which exactly. is great as well too. And I have to get into this chocolate thing. Oh what yeah, is that? chocolate molten cake. It's got like uh, chewy brownie bits and a fudge swirl and a super chocolatey base. So it's triple chocolate basically. Yeah. <laughs> Too good. <laughs> you guys are really known for these Cool House sandwiches, right? right. I mean, yes. that's that's the thing. Yes. Forget the scoop in the cup, yeah. let's go for the sandwich. Yeah. Major so, on top, order. so on top of all the ice cream, you're doing all the cookies, too, yes. which is great. Yeah, yeah. we have gourmet cookies, uh, special dietary ones like gluten-free, vegan, and seasonal ones that nice. are paid as well. So. And right here, it also gets wrapped yeah. up, and can we yes. show them this? This is an edible wrapper. <laughs> What is an edible wrapper made of? Um, it's made of potato and the ink is soy. So it's great for corporate branding or weddings. You can print the initials. using your noodle. That's corporate right, branding yeah. is good. So we have a red velvet cookie. Yes, red velvet. And we have the wrapper. What's the other cookie? Uh, this is a s'mores cookie. Of course it's a s'mores cookie. Yeah. What should I put in between these two? Uh, I, I mean, the red velvet, I go the red velvet. I don't know if it needs chocolate. It seems almost more vanilla-y. Yeah. yeah, you could do that. Fried chicken. Let's do that. Let's do yeah. that. Is this a typical size of a single oh, yes, story? It is. Yes, it is. This is a Cool House ice cream sandwich, fried chicken ice cream huh. s'more, s'more and red velvet and cookie. Red velvet, and I can yes. eat the wrapper? You as can I... eat the, everything in your hand you can eat. Including my hand. If you want. <laughs> It's so good. <laughs> it's not low calorie, that's for the sure. The wrapper is calorie free. The wrapper is calorie yeah. free. Yeah, and vegan and kosher, actually. <laughs> Come to Cool House. We'll see you later. Thank you, Natasha. Of course. Bye. Thank you.